Title, Trump's Paper Chase, Indictment Unsealed in the Great Document Dilemma. TL, DR, for the first time in history, a former U.S. President, Donald Trump, has been indicted. Special Counsel Jack Smith unsealed the indictment after investigating Trump's alleged mishandling of classified documents. He's facing 31 counts of willful retention of national defense information. His aide, Walt Nata, was also indicted and is accused of lying to investigators. The deets are wild, guys. Picture this, you're the ex-president of the United States, chilling at your Mar-a-Lago resort when suddenly, bam, you're hit with an indictment. An indictment for allegedly mishandling classified documents, no less. Crazy, right? Donald Trump, our infamous 45th president, finds himself in this exact pickle. The main man leading the legal chase is special counsel Jack Smith, who's been following this paper trail for months. He has 31 counts of willful retention of national defense information in his bag against Trump. And to top it all off, this is a presidential first. No other former president has faced federal charges like these before. How's that for a trivia night fact? So where, you might ask, did Trump allegedly stash these top secret docs? Well, that's part of the juicy details the indictment brings to light. Let's just say, there was some crafty correspondence within Trump's inner circle aimed at keeping these papers out of the Fed's sight. But hold on, there's more. Remember Trump's aide, Walt Nader? Yeah, he didn't escape the indictment either. Poor Walt was accused of fibbing to the FBI during the probe into the former president's handling of classified documents. Talk about being caught in the crossfire. But what's an investigation without some plot twists, right? Special Counsel Smith, who was put on this case by Attorney General Merrick Garland, initially had one mission, to find out if Trump or his aides played a sneaky game of hide the classified documents at his Mar-a-Lago resort after he left the White House and if they obstructed the investigation. However, recent developments have heated things up. After several high-profile interviews and a former White House official's statement, Trump's claim of automatically declassifying everything he took to Mar-a-Lago is being seriously questioned. It seems Trump knew how to properly declassify documents and even did so correctly while in office. So, the question that hangs in the air is this, did Trump knowingly mishandle classified documents, or is this all a massive misunderstanding? With the indictment now unsealed, we're one step closer to finding out. In the end, all we're left with is an intense mystery and more questions than answers. So, I'll leave you with this one, with these recent developments, how will the legacy of the 45th president be remembered? And more importantly, could this case set a precedent for future presidents? Let the debate begin.